Bush. Welcome to Undisputed, Reggie. Thank you. Mm. Thank you for having me. Welcome. Who deserves more credit for the Patriots' success, Brady or Belichick? Ah, uh, man. It's a good um, question. It is a great question. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm going to go with Brady um, because, listen, I think when you look back over the years of them being together and you look at the year that uh, Brady tore his ACL and Matt Castle steps in, they still win 11 games. They don't make the playoffs. Uh, and then you look at uh, last year when Brady had the four-game suspension. They were able to go 3-1 and one without him. They did. Um, and they ended up losing that last game to us when I was in Buffalo last year. But I just – I think he gets to the playoffs without Brady, but I don't think he wins the Super Bowls without Brady. Um, I think Brady's the ultimate finisher. Um, he is the driving force that allows them to play as efficient as they do in that fourth quarter. And then, and then also I think there's a reason why – you don't see any Patriots players get big contracts because Belichick knows that as long as he, he has Brady, uh, he makes everything okay. And he will always get them into the right position <clears throat> mm -hmm. to be able to win. And, and uh, listen, as long as Brady's there, I don't think you ever see a, a player get a big contract. Mm. Good answer. Well, so what would you boil it down? What percent you'd go? I would go 51 49. 51, yeah. Okay. Brady, yeah. Belichick. <laughs> Belichick. 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 <laughs> Belichick. And I've always said this. Brady I, hate. Brady and, hate. And Brady you know hate. what? I was willing to give Mr. Kraft 5%, but I got to take 2% two two <laughs> that I was going to give him. So he's down to 3 you took it away I from the I took it owner? away from him because he did something. He's, he, he, he was you out can't of, take it away from the owner. Yeah. Because <laughs> <'cause Belichick laughs> he forced that train. I have to give the guy, the architect, that put all of this in place. Those Patriots defense in Brady's 18 years mm -hmm. in that system, mm -hmm. 14 times the Patriots have been top 10 defense. Aaron Rodgers, by chance, have had two of those in 10 years. Mm -hmm. Now, we keep talking about Brady in those fourth quarter comebacks in the playoffs. He has four of those. In those fourth quarters alone, they've given up a total of three points. Mm -hmm. In four, fourth quarter, 10 mm -hmm. point come from behind victories. The defense has allowed three total points. Mm -hmm. Now, Ben Roethlisberger, we saw him throw for 470, five touchdowns. Mm -hmm. But why couldn't they win that game? Because the defense, defense. could not stop yeah. the Jags. I'm mm -hmm. looking at something else, Skip. You know what? Tom Brady, this is Tom Brady, just finished his 36th playoff game. And in those 36 games, <laughs> the defense has allowed 30 <laughs> points or more three times. Mm -hmm. Aaron Rodgers has played 16 playoff games. Mm -hmm. His defense is giving up five times. This is not Aaron Rodgers' time. I'm just going to. I'm just going Wait, to show. How, how you many keep, Super Bowls has Aaron Rodgers been this, to? This, one. One. That's one. That's, that's all. Experience. That's my point. I thought he was transcendental. That's my point. How long has because it been? Like Aaron twelve Rodgers years had, since Aaron Rodgers has only had two oh. top ten defenses. Oh. Brady yeah. has fourteen. See, uh -huh. you keep saying, oh, Brady's coming back. Brady's coming back. Uh -huh. But if the opposing team is scoring, once they get down. How does Brady yeah, but, come back? But if you break down those top tens, they'll be an eighth and a ninth and a seventh and a tenth. Ready, did, ready. Wait, did, mm -hmm. did, if they had Ray Lewis up there in Foxborough, did he end his career up in Foxborough? I don't see, think so. See, I don't see, think so. See, this is how Skip looks mm -hmm. at it. He looks at it if you don't have J.J. Watt, if you don't have a Ray Lewis, if mm -hmm. you don't have a Deion Sanders, you can't have a good defense. Mm -hmm. Coach had Belichick, good defenses. Coach Belichick knows everybody can't play for Coach Belichick. Okay, is there any one year where you say, boy, that 2001 – Patriot defense? No. Do you do the 85 Bears did and you, the did, did 2004 you, Patriots? You did, don't do that. Did you see what the 2001 uh, Patriots defense did to the greatest show on turf? Mm -hmm. They gave up 17 points nice after plan. they were averaging 34 yeah. a game. Yeah. So did you see that? When so, the greatest show took them lightly and didn't get ready. Well, don't, see, there you go. See, now you minimize. Now they took them lightly. Hold on. And, Tom and by Brady the way. Scored 20 points. He scored 20. Tom Brady threw for 143 yards and a touchdown. The Rams openly accused the Patriots of spying on their walkthrough on Saturday. I'm just throwing it out. I get all that. I get all that. But I'm giving Coach Belichick 57% of the credit. 57%? I don't know about that. <laughs> Haven't you dropped that quite a bit? Yeah, I thought you like at the 70. Super Bowl last year, you were in the 70s. No, no, no. I no, think no. you're seeing the light. No, it's not no seeing the light. Tom no. Brady made you see Tom the light. Bra Tom Brady gets credit, but Belichick is the architect. He's doing all the cooking. But the, and he's just the Brady's just the face of the The architect thing. is not the one going on the football field. As you know, as a player, he's not the one going on the field and mm. actually executing mm. the game plan. There have been a lot of great players, quarterbacks, mm. that didn't win Super Bowl. Mm. Yeah. So you're telling me but Aaron, not, not uh, playing for six. Are you are you telling are you telling me Aaron Rodgers would have less Super Bowls playing for Coach Belichick than Tom Brady in the same time frame? 
I mean, this isn't about. No, I'm just saying because I, all I'm saying is it's the, I'm saying it's the coach. You saying it's the guy. So I'm saying if we bring another guy in there, he'll get to the playoffs. I'm, but I'm, Brady's the ultimate see, finisher. I cannot sit here and say that Brady and Aaron Rodgers are the same quarterbacks because they're, they're totally different. And then Brady has proven time after time, year after year, that he can finish the games in the clutch situation in the fourth quarter. What about that? But the you, but see, you still not talking about that three points that they gave up over those last four. You're right. Mm. See, sometimes, as Reggie's pointing out here, <laughs> the architect, as in the head coach, can make all kinds of mistakes, but the quarterback mm. can just cancel them all out, mm. such as Pete Carroll at the Rose Bowl championship game. He mm. takes out Reggie Bush on a crucial, what was it, <laughs> yeah. third and short play? Some, yeah, something like that. You know, yeah. something like that. And, and – <laughs> Again, Matt Leinart couldn't overcome Vince Young because if it had been Tom Brady, maybe he overcomes Vince Young. Maybe How? He, maybe he makes one throw more than Vince does. Or but, one but, what, but what about what does what does Tom Brady have to do with Russell Wilson throwing the ball to his teammate? What what what, what, what part? What role did Tom Brady play in that part? Or was that Coach Belichick defense that had instructed him? Shannon Sharp, how can you open a door like that against the Legion of Boom, down 10 points in the fourth quarter, the best defense in pro football? Tom Brady went 13 of 15 for 124 yards and two touchdowns in the fourth quarter. That's all-time greatness. You know it, and I know it. What did Beast Mode do? What did Russell Wilson do against that – against? in the fourth quarter against that no-name defense, no Ray Lewis, no J.J. Watt, no Deion Sanders. What did they do in the fourth quarter? Malcolm Butler made one of the greatest plays in the history of the Super Bowl. He just did. He's undrafted out of West Alabama. He comes from nowhere, and he made a play, right? Yep. You, don't make, you don't make that play unless you've practiced it. Because every great player would tell you, mm-hmm. when you see a move, you're like, how did you do that? I've done it several times in my dreams. I've done it several times. They practiced it. Mm-hmm. How many times did they say they practiced it? And Coach Belichick jumped Malcolm Butler he's, for taking too long to get there. Mm-hmm. He's a really mm-hmm. good coach, but that really good coach. Really in, good! In, in, in Cleveland, he went five years with one winning record in five years. Then he comes to New England, and he goes 5-11 and 11 in his first year. Then he and starts off. Answers, what's Tom that? Brady. Yeah, and well, Tom but Brady. but wait, it didn't happen until he was 0-2 yeah. In 2001, he fell to 0-2, and, mm-hmm. and Tom Brady fell out of the sky because they, they, he was in his second year, obviously. But Mo Lewis blasted Drew Bledsoe up in the chest, and he was – God bless him, but he was gone. And all of a sudden, to Belichick's credit, he said, I'm going to go with that six-round pick in his second season, to his credit. So, but was that a brilliant move to draft Tom Brady in the sixth round? Well, he passed on him five previous rounds, but I'm just right? Saying, okay, so what, what role did the Tom Brady play in getting Deion Lewis or White or getting Amendola, trading for Amendola, or signing Amendola in free agency. Shannon, those Julian. are all just yeah. guys. They're just people. But they, you can Reggie, mix and match Reggie. any of them. But he, Skip, you keep thinking because they're not stars, everybody can't play for Coach Belichick. Julio Jones is not going to go three, four games with catching one or two passes. Antonio mm-hmm. Brown, Odell Beckham, you have to have a guy that goes team, teammate, mm-hmm. me. But to, but to your point, though, any, the, the players are interchangeable. Everybody around Brady is interchangeable, right? So Shane Vereen in that Super Bowl played amazing, he right? Did. And he yeah, goes great. To, then yeah. he goes to the New York Giants, mm-hmm. and he doesn't have that same success, nope. right? Mm-hmm. That he had. That, that's the reason that they can get rid of uh, a Jamie Collins. Mm-hmm. They can get rid of uh, Chandler Jones. Chandler Jones. Yeah. Because Richard Belichick Seymour. knows that as long as he has Brady, he's going to make everything okay. Yeah. He's going to get him in the right just, position. Just think about what he's done. You, you give him little to no credit. Oh, I give him a lot of credit. But, but think about this. In that first Super Bowl, he has to complete four big passes to get them in mm-hmm. field goal range, and that's, that's his baby quarterback, and John Madden's up defense, in the booth. If that defense gives up what the greatest show on turf normally okay, gets. I got it. I got it. You're right about that. But still, in the end, he had to make those throws, and Belichick had to trust him to make those throws as a first-year starter to get Vinatieri in range to make a 49-yarder. Then against Carolina in that second big Super Bowl, he, he makes five big completions, one of them on third down, to set up Vinatieri again mm-hmm. for a, a big late four seconds left field goal. I mentioned Seattle. I mentioned Atlanta earlier in the show. They're outrageous. He threw for 246 in the fourth quarter in overtime against Atlanta, and they come from 19 down in the fourth if, quarter. If it's asking, impossible. If you don't mind me asking, in those five Super Bowl wins, how many of those teams' offenses reach the point total that they averaged in the regular season. Okay, but the point is, you're, 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 you're ignoring that 
as Reggie Bush will tell you, in the end, it's a quarterback's game. It's a quarterback's game. It's just it's rigged. It's, it's just it's like this is who it is. All I'm asking. Okay, you got to have some defense. I mean, Tom so, Brady can't yeah. score 60. Why he's, not? He's got a pretty good defense. Why not? You know why? Because he doesn't have Randy Moss. He had him for two years. Mm -hmm. That's and, why he can't. He and, was scoring 60 with Randy Moss. But here's the thing, though, Skip. That's my point, what I'm trying to tell you. It doesn't matter what Tom Brady does. If Tom Brady falls behind and the defense can't get the offense off the field, a la Ben against Jacksonville, mm -hmm. you lose the game. So you just looking at what Tom came back. What, what precipitated that? Three points in four fourth quarters in overtime. That's okay. what his defense okay. has given up. But, but no other quarterback could pull off against the opposing defense what he keeps pulling off. With, with the weight of the world on it. Like, these are impossible odds against yeah. you. Yeah. Granted, granted, he has to perform well. Mm -hmm. But he can, Ben Roethlisberger performed phenomenally in the fourth quarter. But because his defense could not get off the field, it's all for okay. naught. Okay, but think about this. The star of the game as a receiver on Sunday was not Reggie Bush, who was the second pick in the draft mm -hmm. and ran, would you run, 4-3 or, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Danny Amendola, undrafted, ran a 4 7 40 at the combine. He's the star of the game. Why is that? It's because of number 12. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. And be sure to check out more of the best clips from Undisputed or go watch a few segments from our other shows on FS1.